Thank you. Wow. Oh, I feel such a sense of exhilaration. God bless the child in a higher key than I would sing it. That's kind of not fair. So, but it's, you're all so beautiful. I can't even, I'm honored to be in this room with such illustrious co-honorees. It's an extraordinary evening, and I just love, love, love this organization, and I want to tell you why. Because Camille and Monica have done such a fantastic job of having a spectacular idea and executing it to the highest level of professionalism. My hope and dream would be that we would all come together and make this a national organization and have this occur in every city. Oh. I mean, how better could dollars be spent than in simple organization and enabling people to give? The generosity of these artists absolutely overwhelms me. And, and when I was a young singer, I remember being so sick of the sound of my voice, of the unrelenting self-promotion, the constantly waking up and thinking, what will happen to my voice today? What will happen to me? And looking around, and, and I would go into a restaurant and look at a waitress, and I'd think, wow, what a nice life to serve other people. That must be lovely. <laughs> my biggest escape fantasy as a young adult was moving to Aspen, Colorado and becoming a masseuse, shaving my head. <laughs> so it's true. I just was so sick of it. And shaving, I don't understand the shaving my head part. I'm sure there's some significance there. <laughs> Um, maybe someone can help me with that. But, you know, and I want to point out one thing about this generosity because it gives these young artists an outlet and a way to give someone to someone else and stop thinking about their careers. But I have to tell you, they're all in a place where work is important, where the development of a career is important. And for them to take time out to do things for students and for the elderly and for people who are in need and with for nothing in return humbles me. I can't even tell you how much it moves me. And they're all so extraordinarily gifted. And from the other side, I can speak to that as well because when I was 16 years old and a high school student in Rochester, New York, there was a program similar to this in which uh, a student at a local, at, at the Eastman School of Music came and worked with a couple of gifted children, and I was one of them, uh, and it was about composition. It was about writing music, which uh, I remember the classroom that we were in when he came in and played Penderecki's Threnody for the Victims of Hiroshima. I remember that that opened up a world to me which I did not know before that moment. I had a tremendous musical education and a tremendous musical background, but I didn't know 20th century music in that way. And the way he spoke about it and the way he exposed me to it, here I am now, I'm a singer, and I've been one of so fortunate in so many ways, but I am absolutely dedicated and focused on new music, music and on doing premieres and having the privilege of using my voice to also further new music. This is the kind of impact you can have on a young student's life. I am so grateful to you for supporting this organization, and I promise you the people involved deserve every single penny and would use it in a way that will benefit so many. Please help them grow, and thank you.